Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon card booster box opening. Today I'm going to be opening this Scarlet and Violet booster box you see in front of you, but as you might notice, there's a second booster box underneath. Well, as you can see, my Paradox Rift booster box has finally arrived, so I'll be pretty excited to open this before I go to Europe next week. But for today, let's go ahead and focus on the Scarlet and Violet booster box. So while I'm opening this, you can probably see, based off of the background here, that I am back at my grandmother's house visiting. So this is my Christmas visit with them this year because, as I said, I'll be in Europe for Christmas itself. So let's go ahead and get this open. And this time I'm actually going to take the packs out. In my last video with the Paldea Evolved booster box, I actually had a pack get stuck behind this uh, fold over as I was folding it over, and I didn't notice it until a couple recordings in. I did get it without mentioning it in the recording, but uh, still just a funny thing to find. I was like, why is this so heavy? And then there was a pack hidden behind this. So let's go ahead and put this back here. As you can see, we have a little bit of a different uh, recording setup today, and that's just because I wanted it to be a little easier to record this time around. So it may not be as visually interesting, but I thought it'd be better to make the video and not be super visually interesting than to just not make the video at all. So pack one. Let's see what we can get right off the cuff. We see a white code card, which is interesting. I haven't seen one of those in the Scarlet and Violet era in a while. So let's see. Pineco. <clears throat> Flittle. Fue Coco, Drowsy, Wug Trio, Judge, Floatzel, first reverse is an Indeedy, second is Drowsy, and our rare, a Gyarados EX. Very good first pack. Very good indeed. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording so I can get my sleeves ready. I forgot to grab those, but a very good first pack. And we're back. As you might be able to see, I sleeved this NDD because it is a rare reverse. And as I've mentioned in some of my previous openings, I always like to sleeve the rare reverse hollows just because sometimes they're a little more value, valuable, but also I just like to do that. So moving on to the second pack, we got another white code card. Let's see what that means for us today. Varum, Magikarp, Magnemite, Taruntula. Greedent, Florges, Vivillion, First Reverse is a Charcadet, I really like that artwork, that's pretty cool. Second is a Muck, and our rare is Indeedy. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put that down here. I'll sleeve them off video this time just to make the video a little bit shorter and quicker. <clears throat> Next pack. Mm, having a little trouble with this one. There we go. Another white code card. Maybe Scarlet and Violet base set is just all white code cards. I've not actually opened enough of Scarlet Violet base set to really say for sure. We got a Watchroll, Crocorock. Let me get this centered on the camera. Mankey, Squawkabilly, Foretris, Rocky Helmet, Mabostiff. First reverse is a Fido. Ooh, Gold Rim Myrodon EX. This is actually one of the cards I wanted most from this set, so it's quite nice to get that on, what, the third pack? So very happy with that. And our rare is Klefki. That's pretty cool artwork as well. But obviously, our big star of this pack was the Myrodon EX in the Gold Rim. That's quite nice. So as you can probably tell, this is the first time I've actually recorded where I can see the screen, and it's nice to be able to see where I can hold it up to actually get it to focus on camera. So, very good third pack. We'll take another break real quick. Let's keep right on rolling. So, I believe this is our fourth pack here. Another white code card. So maybe it is just that Scarlet and Violet base set is all white code cards. All right, Cagney, Sandile, Mareep, Silly Cobra, Lucario, Rock Chestplate, oop, getting a little bit ahead of myself, Sea Titan, Flabebe, Boezel, and RK9 EX. This has been a great booster box so far. I hope it keeps this momentum out uh, throughout the whole thing. This is a very nice card. Let me put this down real quick. 
Wow. I actually quite like this one. Usually the basic background ones I don't care too much for, but I don't. This, the eight, RK9 in this one actually looks good. Uh, it might be a combination of the fact that it actually has a Terra type that matches its original type, which helps with the theming a little bit. I don't know, I just really like this one, so very nice pool. So far, as I said, this booster box has been very good. I've been very happy with the pools on this, and also just even from the quote-unquote regular cards, like a Lucario, for example. Love Lucario. I don't know many people who don't. Uh, let's go ahead and put those there. You know what? I am not putting these where they belong, according to my very hastily thought-up little sorting here, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and rip into this fifth pack here, or six pack, or whatever pack it is. I'm already losing count, and we've just barely begun. Nimona, very good rival, liked her a lot. Lechonk, also a very good early game Pokemon, liked Lechonk a lot. Flababy, Growlithe, that's a cute Growlithe card, I like that. Miriam, very, very likable NPC. Rock Chestplate, another Lucario. Magikarp, I quite like the Magikarp here. Uh, the Magikarp artwork in this set's really nice, and of course being reverse is cool too. And we got a gallery card. Man, this booster box is just not missing today. Very, very nice gallery card, as I like to still call them. And our rare is a cloth. So we'll go ahead and put that down there, but a very nice card to be pulling here. So it looks like we can see the... Oh yeah, you can see the print lines, both in the recording and in person. That's very interesting. You can kind of see like right through there, there's a print line and one underneath the RAM is kind of like an underline. Interesting. I don't know if that's a, a defect or if that's just the way the card is. Very interesting. While I got the recording going, might as well rip into another pack here. Oh, of course, sleeve our valuables out of that pack when the recording is stopped. But we're going to go ahead and go on through. It does look like it's just all white cards. So we got a Pokemon catcher. Clauncher, Dolive, Quaxley, very nice artwork, I like that one a lot, Doshbun, Torkoal, Torkoal's always been a Pokemon I've liked, never been one of my favorites, but always just one that's like, oh yeah, Torkoal, he's pretty cool. First reverse is a Capsi Kid, right after our Scovillian. Second reverse is a Zangoose, I always liked Zangoose, and our rare is a King Gambit. King Gambit's pretty cool. Uh, felt a little too... A little too slow for my taste for an evolution to Bisharp. Not that Bisharp was Sonic the Hedgehog or anything, but... You know... Just felt like him sitting down could have been something else. I don't know what I'm really saying here. I'll come back. Alright, I'm back. Took a little bit of a water break. Try to get my mind clear after the weird ramble I went on after the end of that last pack. Not sure yet if I'm going to keep that in in editing, but if I didn't, just know I kind of went on and on about really nothing. So let's continue on. Capsay Kid. Alola Momola. We got a Palmo. Toad's Cool. Fan favorite. Pretty cool. Miriam, once again, a fan favorite. Spirit Tomb, one of my favorites. Ultra Ball. First reverse is a Grimer. Second is a Sprigatito. Once again, fan favorite. And a Pomot is our rare. Pomot's alright. I thought it was a little weird that that entire line just basically was, he stands up, he stands up, he's a little bit furrier. But, you know, they could have done more with it, but I don't think it's a bad evolution line necessarily. Just could have done a little more with it. Next pack. And what you got? Bisharp, Riolu, Go Goat, Scatterbug, Flaffy, Youngster. Oop, and we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Blissey with only 150 HP. That's a little weird to see. Skiddo. Oh, that's a cute Skiddo. I like that. Ooh, Iron Treads EX and a Gallery. This has been a great booster box so far. It makes me wish I had opened it sooner. That is gorgeous. That is a legitimately gorgeous card. I wish you could see how good it looks in person. The camera doesn't seem to be catching just how gorgeous it is, but this is a great looking card. And our rare is a Houndstone. 
So a very gorgeous card out of that pack. Let's keep going. <clears throat> oh, that one ripped a little differently. All right, another code card. Staravia, love the Starly line. Ralts, always liked the Ralts line as well. Tandem Mouse, that's pretty cute. Pokegear 3.0. Sititan. Team Star Grunt. Zangoose. Slowpoke is our first reverse. Pinico is our second reverse. And our rare is a Cyclozar. Cyclozar is alright. Cyclozar is pretty cool, but obviously a little overshadowed by Myrodon and Coridon. Uh, but Cyclozar itself is pretty cool. I feel like in another generation where instead of just being a paradox form, uh, if Cyclozar had actually evolved into the two legendaries from this one, might have been a little more popular, but Cyclozar is still pretty cool. So we had a Ponyard and a Crushing Hammer. Starly, very nice artwork. Just very cute. I like it. Flittle. Oinkalone. Oinkalone's pretty cool. Breloom. Breloom's always been pretty cool. Kilowattril. Squawkabilly is our first reverse. Our second reverse is Mesagoza. And our rare is Professor's Research. You know, if you've ever seen me in person, I feel like if I did my hair and actually kept my beard trim, I would probably look kind of like Professor Toro. So maybe I'll try that one of these days. Maybe next Halloween. I don't know yet. Recording is actually going pretty well today, especially since I can actually see my camera and make sure I'm somewhat keeping the card centered. So I don't really feel like I need to take another break yet. Let's just go ahead and rip into another pack. First off, we got a Rotom, Chansey, Rare Candy, Fido, Espartha, Arvin, Cacturn, Crocorock is our first reverse. Our second reverse is Quaxley. As I said, I really like this Quaxley card. And our rare is Professor Research, but Seda this time. Interesting. <laughs> Two packs in a row. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll take another water break. It's always good to stay hydrated. So, if you're wondering why I sound a little more out of it than usual, or at least I feel like I do. That is because yesterday, out of nowhere, I had a weird stomach bug and started vomiting. I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want to make it disgusting, but it was just kind of out of nowhere. And it's the first time in years that I've really had a problem like that. So, kind of took it out of me, if you could guess. First, we got a Shuppet <laughs> Sprigatito. Sorry to just jump right into the pack after that. It felt kind of weird transitioning there. Houndour. Uh, we got a Drifloon. Jacques. Florigato, it's a pretty nice artwork. Zangoose. First reverse is Rotom. Always really liked Rotom. It felt like a almost like a legendary in a way. Surviper, just like Zangoose, always liked Surviper. And our rare is a Reverbroom. I like Reverbroom, but I feel like it should have a third stage. Something a little closer to what you see uh, the Team Star bosses ride on. Something closer to that. It should be the um, you know, second stage, the full third evolution there. So that would have been cool to see, but we didn't get that. But I still like River Room. All right, be right back. Right back into it with a Maridon pack. Let's see what we can get out of here. Uh, I don't really know what I would say my chase card from this set is anymore. Uh, I've got chase cards for pretty much all of the newer sets, but from Scarlet and Violet Base, I don't know if there's one specific card I really want. Uh, maybe Quackavol EX, uh, but I, I would have to take a look. So let's see. First off, we got a Floet, Palmy, Smoliv, Wiglet, Youngster, Flaffy, <clears throat> Blissey. First reverse is a Palmo. Second is Cacne, and our rare is Skeledurge. It's a pretty cool card. Not the best card on earth or anything but it's a nice card so we'll go ahead and plop you there and plop our reverses i know i said i was going to do this off camera but you know i didn't right now anyway let's just jump right in gyarados pack terra gyarados specifically okay come on 
Come on. Most of these packs have been easy to open, but every once in a while it likes to just get a little bit difficult for some reason. All right, what we got? Shroomish. <clears throat> Mankey. Another nice Sharkadet. Capsy Kid. Heracross. Crocodile as only an uncommon, which is interesting. Flamigo. First reverse is a Curlia. That's pretty nice. I like the color of that card. Second reverse is a Dedin. And Quackavul is our rare. It's pretty nice. I'm happy to have a Quackavul. It's also funny to get another starter right after another. So I'll go ahead and sleeve just this one. And then I'll do the rest of the sorting after I stop the recording, as I said I was going to do in the beginning. So let's go ahead and jump right in here to another pack. All right, what we got? Dead in. Pineco. Flittle. Foy Coco. Really like the artwork on that one. Mesa Goza. Drif Blim. Defiance Bond. It looks kind of like a sand dial. <laughs> First reverse is a Hypno. Ooh, we're getting a little off camera here. Ooh, Magnemite is our second. It's quite nice. And our rare is Coridon. Pretty nice. It's amazing how different the card game looks now than it did when I was young. Because if I had gotten, say, a Dialga or Palkia from a pack, it would have been quite amazing back then. But now it's just kind of like, oh, well, that's pretty neat. Let's move on to our next pack here. I really like the artwork on this pack. I liked it when Scarlet and Violet's base set first came out, and I still like it now. I don't know what it is about it. It's cute, but it also just looks different. I don't know, it just feels different, and I like it. So let's see what, what it has for us. Satotl. Varum. Another one of those nice Magikarp. Magnemite. Stojaner. Penny. Medicam. Ooh, Reverse Maridon. Pretty much what I was saying about it last time. Uh, Scatterbug is our second reverse, and Toxicroak EX is our rare. Now that's pretty cool. I really like the artwork on this card. I'm gonna look at it on camera. Yeah, it looks really good on camera. Ooh, the little sparkles in it too, that's nice. But also in person, it's really shocking how good the colors look. Very good pool, very happy with this one. So let's go ahead and sleeve that one while we're on camera so that we can go ahead and jump into another pack here. Oh, come on, there we go. So hopefully to get to do a little less editing on this one, the last one I made, potion, the last video I made of Paldea Evolved's booster box, I made all of my edits and had to redo them. It took me about an hour to do my edits the first night. I accidentally messed something up with the export and destroyed my draft and had to redo the ed edits. So that was annoying. Uh, we got a Buizel, Energy Retrieval, Le Chunk, Foretress, Rocky Helmet, Mabostiff, Potion Reverse, Scoville in Reverse, and Clough once again. So there we are with that. We'll go ahead and open one more and then start our recording over again. And of course, be able to sort through the packs we've already opened. Oh, come on. There, a little squeal card. And what do you got? Grievered. <clears throat> Mastiff. Spupa. Metatite. Oop, I accidentally spoiled it a little bit. We got something back there. Tatsugiri. Jacques. Floragato. First reverse is a Bisharp. Second is Arboliva, which is a rare, so we'll put that one to the side for sleeving. And a Coridon EX. Now, what I was saying earlier about pulling like a Dialga or Palkia, that could uh, also apply to the Level X series. And this is like pulling a Level X, so that's pretty neat. This card looks pretty nice. Not the best looking EX I've ever seen, but I would say pretty average. Uh, I like it. It cuts out enough and just, it looks good. Not the best I've ever seen, not the worst I've ever seen. It's nice. I like it. So, be right back. I just realized, by them making all of the rares and modern sets at minimum a regular holofoil, 
uh, that kind of takes away the specialness of pulling a hollow rare because I mean if everyone's super no one will be as syndrome said in the Incredibles anyway let's move on to the next pack enough with those tangents tarantula pokemon catcher Clouncher, Dolliff, Quaxwell, EXP Share, Toad's Cruel, pretty funky looking card, I like that. Penny's our first reverse, Floet is our second reverse, and our rare is another Palmont. I will have to check at the end of this recording, but I swear it feels like we've pulled quite a few Palmont. It might just be the second one, but I swear it feels like we've pulled more than a couple now. And we're only maybe halfway done, so hopefully the rest of this box is going to be as strong as those first few packs were. All right, next pack, what you got? Drowsy, <clears throat> Nimona, Lechonk, there we go, Flabebe, Tatsugiri, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, quite like the artwork on that one, that's cool. Tatsugiri Reverse, Energy Search, and Annihilate. That's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool artwork. I thought the concept of Annihilate was all right. Again, another one of those not my favorites, but I do like Annihilate more than I did Primate, so I guess that's an improvement. Next pack. Alright, what we got, what we got. Energy Search. Grimer. Bruxish. You know, I like Bruxish. I like how weird it looks. Cacne. EXP Share. Stonjener. Stonjener. Penny. Growlis is our first reverse. That's cute. Jacques is our second. And Rev of Room is our rare once again. So pull that down and go on to the next pack. Just moving right along. Feels kind of sad to do that when growing up every single pack I opened was a big deal and very special. Feels kind of crazy to just bowl right on through a whole pack like that and just keep on moving. But here we are. Slowpoke. Watrol. Zangoose. Krogunk. Very nice. Just like that Toxicroak we opened a little bit ago. I quite like the coloring on that Krogunk. Uh, Miriam. Spiritu. Ultramall. First reverse is a Tropius. Always like Tropius. Basically a fruit dinosaur. Here we go. Another reverse. Or, excuse me, another gallery. Cloth. That's very cool. I like that one. Kind of reminds me of the Titan fight, of course, but... Just a very nice looking card. Very, very nice. Oh, and here we go. Another gallery. Professor Seda's Professor's Research. The full art of that. Quite like that. I liked both of the professors this time around. And the plot twist at the very end of the game was also really cool. Not really something I expected from a Pokemon game. So it was very nice to see that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do one more pack and then take a break to sleeve up everything. And, of course, take another drink of water to stay hydrated. So, I'm trying to still keep a little bit of the charm of opening these packs in a crappy way. Because, one of my, as one of my friends says, you've optimized the fun out of, and then whatever you're talking about. I don't want to optimize the fun out of opening packs. I still want to have the little crappy moments of, like, me misspeaking or going on a tangent about something that doesn't matter. Like, kind of like this. Anyway, moving on to this pack, we got a, another really nice looking Growlithe. Quite like the artwork on this one as well. <clears throat> Staravia. Ralts. I feel like we pulled a Staravia Ralts combo earlier. Tandemouse. Picnic Basket. That is a good looking picnic basket. I can go for some of that fruit right now. Bombardier. Hypno. First reverse is a Cacturn. Always really liked Cacturn. I don't know what it is about it. I like the sound of it. Uh, I had a card of Cacturn very early on in my collection that I really liked as well. I don't remember which set it's from, but I, I I just have really good fond memories of pulling it and you know just having it to admire. Clauncher is our next reverse, and Slowbro is our final. The artwork on this one's very nice. I hope the camera's kind of catching all the detail. We're gonna yeah, there we go. It looks like it actually is focusing even this close up. That's nice. 
Yeah, very nice artwork. I really like the foil work on this one too. Very good card to end off recording for the moment. And I'm back. I took a look while I was gone. Um, this is one of the most expensive cards in the set, currently worth about $10. This is not a super expensive set, but it's worth about $10. I think it was like fourth or fifth most expensive. Uh, and Maridon was also in the top 10, and I believe it was worth about 6 or $7 when I checked. Uh, top of the set is, of course, the Miriam uh, Secret Alt Rare, uh, number 251 in the set. It's the one where she's tripping with the books. That's the current most expensive card in the set, worth about $27 in near mint condition. So I'm not in it for the values, but just like to keep up with that sometimes, just to see what we're doing. So let's move on. Quaxley, Ponyard, Crushing Hammer, Starly, Cyclazar. Vitality Band, Toxitricity, <laughs> Palmot is our reverse rare, as you can see, so we'll put him to the side. Bruxish is our other reverse, and our rare is Cyclozar. So let's go ahead and put these all out here and move on to the next pack and see what we got. This pack feels thicker. I, I can't explain it or really show it, but I swear this one feels thicker. I don't think that means anything because I think all the cards are roughly the same. But I don't know. This just feels thicker than the rest of them I've opened so far. Maybe there's an extra card in it. Dead in. Curlia. Switch. Fue Coco. Es Partha. Or Es Pathra. Hmm. I've been saying that wrong all along. Arvin. <clears throat> Cacturn. And you know, I already talked about it a little bit, but I just really like this card too. Very nice artwork, and of course, a big fan of Cacturn anyway. Energy Switch is our first reverse. Primeape is our second reverse, and our rare is a Clef Key. So moving right along, we got a Terra Gera as our next pack. Gotta catch them all. If only the game still went by that philosophy. It'd be nice to have all of them there, but alas. Next pack, Sandile, Mareep, Silly Cobra, Bisharp, Medicham, Quaxwell, Cyclazar, Clawitzer is our first reverse, Doshbun is our second reverse, and our rare is a Myrodon EX. Not the one I was specifically talking about, but I do quite like this one. I think that also makes two booster boxes where I've gotten both the regular and the gold rim version of one of the gold cards in the set. So let's see if I can fish that one out real quick and take a look at them next to each other. Here we are. And sure enough, that appears to be the case. It looks like we got the gold rim and the regular version of each. So I'm just going to try to show off how they look a little bit. I'm even going to tap on the screen to make sure it's really focused in on it. All right, quite nice. And now, now that I've had a chance to look at it twice, I think in this specific circumstance, I do prefer the gold rim to the regular. With the, I believe it was Skeledurge out of the Paldea Evolved, I did prefer the outlining of the regular over the gold rim, but in this one, I think I... I think the gold rim takes it. I mean, it's not like one of them's obviously a lot better than the other one, but I think the gold rim does take it in this set. So let me know in the comments what you think. They're both good cards. They're good cards, Brent. Go ahead and open at least one more before we start the recording. <laughs> Whew. Flittle. Shroomish. Mankey, Sharkadet, Mousehold. It is the four mouse mousehold, too. Crocolore, Florgis. First reverse is Driftblim. Second is Citadel, and our rare is Halucha. You know, not a big fan of Halucha, but I do like this Halucha card because that's, that's nice artwork. It's like a good mixture of cute and cool. I like it. It's my stamp of approval. 
You know what? Recording's going pretty well. Let's do one more before we take a break and get some more water. Getting a nice little pile of discarded packs over there. And Pokegear 3.0, Fluet, Palmy, Smoliv, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Katie, first reverse is Tarantula, second is Nimona, and our final rare for the moment is Armor Rouge. Like Armor Rouge, I was more of a Cerule Edge friend my, fan myself. But in the moment, this is a very nice looking card, quite like that. All right, be right back. Jumping right back in with another Terra Gara pack. Terry Gary. Rip right into it. Code card. And we got a Tropius, Pokeball, some Rotom, Palpad, Mesa Goza. Drift Blim. Nice artwork. I actually didn't really look at that the first time I pulled one of these. I like the coloring of it. Defiance Band. I swear that still looks like a, a sand dial to me. Spupa is our first reverse. Houndoom. That's a really cool looking Houndoom card is our second reverse. And our rare is another Skeledurge. Neat, neat, neat. Moving on. <laughs> you can say neat, neat, neat and then just completely ignoring what we got. Such is the life of trying to stay efficient in recording, but not optimizing the fun out of opening packs. I feel like if it was the first time I pulled that card, I would have dwelled on it a little more that time. But since we already pulled one, we're just moving right along to our next pack here. Ryolu. Man, it's getting bad. Go Goat. You get my stack down here. Oh, and about knocked my camera over. Uh, come back, come back. Oh my, where did you go? There you are. Well, we'll fix that in a second. Scatterbug, Shuppet, Toad's Cruel, Mousehold, Vitality Band, Alalomola, Nest Ball, and our rare is a Dondo's, a pretty neat little card. Moving on right past it so I can fix my setup. It would not be one of my Cringe Hunter John 1 videos if it did not have something go wrong. So be right back. I think I got it roughly to where we had it before. Uh, you know, maybe showing a little more of those packs over there, but it doesn't really matter. As I said, we don't want to optimize the fun out of recording. And it also wouldn't be a Cringe Hunter John video if it wasn't just a little bit, I don't know, jerry-rigged together. <laughs> Capsicid, Potion, Boweasel, Energy Retrieval. Muck, <laughs> Vivillain, Doshbun, another Vivillain is our first reverse, Cacne is our second reverse, and our rare is Annihilate. Nothing we haven't seen before, so let's keep on moving. Oh, come on, you can do it, you can do it, there we go. Code card. And Wiglet, Grievered, Mass Chiff, Spew, Pa, Star, Raptor, Electric, Generator, Wug Trio. Ooh, we're getting up there. Halucha is our first reverse, and it is a rare. Ooh, Fido is our gallery for this pack. Very nice. It's very cute. How much is that doggy in the window? Very cute. I like that one quite a bit. And Meowscarada is our rare. So we actually have pulled at least one of each of the new starters, final evolutions, in their regular uh, regular rare configuration for this set. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> pretty happy with that. You know what? With the way the recording is going, assuming something weird doesn't happen, we might just go ahead and finish off in this recording and not have to restart again. Um, in terms of editing, that would be nice, but we'll see. Flabebe. Toxel. That's actually a really cute card now that I'm looking at it. I didn't really care for Toxel or Toxitricity, but that was actually a nice card. Growlithe uh, and Ralts, which I just completely glanced over. Tatsugiri. Nest Ball. Pachirisu. 
Silly Cobra is our first reverse. Our second reverse is a Dolive, and our rare is an Oinkalone EX. Very nice card. Once again, we have the stars all over it, but also just Oinkalone's pretty cool. My Oinkalone, I cannot remember what I named it, nicknamed it right now, but my Oinkalone actually saved my uh, run multiple times while playing through Scarlet and Violet. So very thankful for my Oinkalone saving, as I said, saving my run, saving my life, I guess, if you really want to put it that way. Multiple times really pulled through and made the difference between survival and uh, having to go back to the Pokemon Center with whatever I'm doing. So moving on, we got our final Terra Gera of the box. Let's see if it can give us something good. Code card and Sprigatito, Houndour, Drift Loon, Tottle, Toxicity, Crocolore, looking derpy, love it. Muck. Kilowattrel is our first reverse. Our second reverse is a Clef Key, which is a rare, so we'll put it to the side. And Maridon is our rare for this pack. Very nice. Coridon is our final pack of Coridons, anyway. And. It would be nice to have that Maridon secret rare. I went and looked at the card list a little bit ago, and I believe that is my chase card. I really like it. So we got a Lechonk, Slowpoke, Watrol, Zen Goose, Tatsu Giri, Sko Villain, Torkoal, Griever is our first reverse. Chansey is our second reverse, and our rare is another Professor Seda, Professor's Research. And our final pack is the artwork I was pointing out earlier. I like this starter trio on this set. And it's our final pack. Come on, give us something good. Give us something good. Put that down. And we got a Metatite. Oh, the stack's trying to fall over on me. Energy Search. Grimer. Bruxish. As I said, I like the Bruxish. Pretty cool looking fish. Judge. Float Zol, Team Star Grunt. I'm starting to shake a little bit. Uh, reverse is a Toxel. Second reverse is a Shuppet. And our rare, Gardevoir EX. Not necessarily one of the top cards in the set, but I was hoping for a hit in the final pack. We got a hit in the final pack. Always like Gardevoir, and not for that reason, you perverts. <laughs> Always like Gardevoir. Gardevoir is pretty cool. Um, I did prefer uh, Glade, but... Guard of Wire is still really cool. Uh, always been a very powerful Pokemon to have on your team. As I have said in previous videos of me opening cards, I think it is very strange that they got rid of the fairy type in the TCG, but here we are and they did. So what can you do except just continue on? So let me go ahead and sleeve some of these and we'll show off what we got real quick. So if I could pull them to the side here real quick. Let's go through what we got in no particular order, mostly in the order we pulled them, but not really. We got that Gardevoir EX, which we just showed off. We have the Gallery Fido, which is very nice, very cute. The Oinkalone EX, very nice. The Maridon EX Gold Rim, probably my favorite pull we had today. Just a very nice card. And of course, the regular version of that same artwork, very nice. Probably the most expensive card we pulled today, the Professor's Research Professor Seda Full Art. It's a very nice card. Uh, very nice cloth gallery. I know I'm saying very nice a lot, but that's just because all these are very nice. co on EX. Dino Cry, it's a pretty cool ability. Toxicroak, really love the colors on this Toxicroak EX. Iron Treads EX, this is probably my second favorite pool of the day. Just this card is so gorgeous and it's really hard to show on camera just how good it looks. Gyarados EX, nice card. The Sand Isle is really cool. I really like it. The print error is a little interesting, but the actual artwork itself I do really like. The RK9 was a very gorgeous looking card as well. And that was the final big hit we had this set. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll tune in to watch me open that Paradox Rift, which I hope to have uploaded within the next week since I will be out of the country for a little over two weeks soon. So 
be right back with that. But otherwise, thank you for watching this. I hope you have a great day.